Today, the Supreme Court of the United States expressly took away a constitutional right from the American people that it had already recognized. They didn't limit it, they simply took it away. That's never been done to a right so important to so many Americans, but they did it. It's a sad day for the court and for the country. 50 years ago, Roe v. Wade was decided and has been the law of the land since then. This landmark case protected women's right to choose, her right to make intensely personal decisions with her doctor. The court's decision to do so will have real and immediate consequences. State laws banning abortion are automatically taking effect today, jeopardizing the health of millions of women, some without exceptions. So extreme that women could be punished for protecting their health. So extreme that women and girls were forced to bear their rapist child. With the child a consequence. It's a, it just it, it just stuns me. So extreme that doctors will be criminalized for fulfilling their duty to care. Imagine having a young woman have to ch carry the child of incest as a consequence of incest. No option. The poor women are going to be hit the hardest. It's cruel. In fact, the court laid out state laws criminalizing abortion that go back to the 1800s, taking America back 150 years. This is a sad day for the country, in my view. Let me tell you something. As long as I'm president, it won't happen, because I'll veto it. So the choice is clear. If you want to change the circumstance for women and even little girls in this country, please go out and vote. When tens of millions of women vote this year, a patient comes into an emergency room in any state in the union. She's expressing and experiencing life-threatening miscarriage. But the doctor is going to be so concerned about being criminalized for treating her, they delay treatment to call the hospital lawyer who is concerned the hospital will be penalized if the doctor provides a life-saving care. It's outrageous. I don't care what your position is. It's outrageous. And it's dangerous. That's why this executive order directs the Department of Health and Human Services, HHS, to ensure all patients including pregnant women and girls, get emergency care they need under federal law, and the doctors have the clear guidance on their own responsibilities and protections. No matter what the state, the executive order protects access to contraceptions that I'm about to sign. This is a moment, the moment, the moment to restore the rights that have been taken away from us, and the moment to protect our nation from the extremist agenda that is antithetical to everything we believe as Americans. Now I'm going to sign this executive order.